So, hi everybody. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit about what we did today. Um, there's several shorts videos that I <clears throat> actually uploaded to share with everybody. Um, we went to McDonald's as a family today and had fun there. And then um, we went to... Uh, it was unplanned. There was a crumble cookie place up in Perrysburg. Might be a Rossford address. And it was, um, I'm trying to back this up. I'm still learning, like, some of the controls, like, on my phone and YouTube and stuff. So, hopefully nobody thinks that I'm trying to, like, do super close-ups on myself. I really don't. Yeah. Well, anyway, I just wanted to speak about, we were planning on going to, um, a pumpkin place to pick out some pumpkins. Josh wanted to do that. That didn't happen today because we got we ran out of time. But we went up to Perrysburg, got to try crumble cookie. It was really exciting for me because I've been wanting to try these cookies for I I don't even know how long. I, I shouldn't be eating them truthfully, but um they they you're able to. I'm gonna show you the box real quick. You're able to purchase like this little crumble cutter. And then the box, you can, like, personalize it. So he put first time trying crumble. And then, um, I don't think there's anything left of this cookie. Yeah, it's gone. Um, it was really good. It was, like, $4.99 for the cookie. They have cookies. I think they change them weekly. I really wanted a chocolate chip, but obviously that's, like, your conventional cookie. And so I decided, you know, when me and him were in there, we decided to go with the pink velvet was for this week and i'm not employed by them or anything i've never been there it was really exciting um real clean real bright um you can order at a kiosk thing we did that um it was like around ten dollars for one cookie but this is a huge cookie and then you can buy that cutter which i'm assuming we could have asked them to cut it maybe for us but we, we didn't do that that was really exciting for me and then we ended up going over to spirit halloween which is only open temporarily for Halloween, and um, that was pretty fun. I've uploaded a lot of videos of that. Um, my son Kingston didn't really care for it too much, um, so I ended up leaving and going out to the van a little sooner than I probably would have wanted to. But I put up some videos of some products they had, and some ideas came in my mind. Um, what I might start doing, um, and this is like totally random. It came into my brain today. I was like, so I'm out running around doing these things, like having experiences, going to like stores, restaurants, you know, um, whatever. I was like, somebody had asked on one of my videos, they're like, which spirit Halloween is this? And I'm like, it's in Perrysburg, which like I said, it might have a Rossford address, but regardless, um, I was thinking to myself, wow, I could be in these places and like people could watch my videos and be like, hey, you know, if I sent you money to buy this, would you buy it and then have it shipped to me? Because, you know, everything in areas is different, you know. And I was like, yeah, that might work for me for, like, a business. Because I've been watching a lot of YouTubers. Um, I'm trying to, like, get big, so to speak. Um, because I do have, like, young children. And my son um, does have a speech delay. Um, we're working on getting him into therapy. I don't know if I want to show our whole life all the time. I'm just kind of like going with the flow at this point. But one YouTuber had said, and I, I actually want to find her YouTube video that I had watched to credit her. Because um, this is something she said and it stuck out to me. She said someone had told her, which I think she credited them, that when you do YouTube, it needs to be something that you kind of love because there is time and effort going into it. And like I said, I'm not the best at editing yet. I I don't know if I'll get better. I don't know if I'll end up paying somebody to do it or what. But like I said, this is an unplanned video. I just wanted to like get a video out there to kind of show what we did for the day and talk about it a little bit. It was fun, you know, just being able to go around. We didn't spend a whole lot of money, maybe $50.00 give or take, um, because we're not loaded, so obviously I'm talking to you right now about wanting to get big on YouTube, but there's, like, that hesitation there, you know, to, like, have people, like, always in your business and having to, like, record every single move you make, um, I do love to take pictures, so I've been kind of messing around with that, um, I've always been a picture taker, 
But um, I like like taking video and then like doing like either the voiceover. I'm kind of messing with that now, and then also like adding music to it because I've always thought that was fun anyway. Um, I always did that as an imagination thing as a young person. So I thought that was pretty cool that that's an option. Like, and so on my phone, it wasn't an option for me until I downloaded YouTube Studio. Now, I don't know if I just didn't see it and didn't know, but that's a nice thing to know. But like I said, this is a random video. There's no, like, outline of what I'm talking about. It's mainly talking about, like, what we did for the day. So we went to McDonald's. I, I put up some stuff from that. Um, my son got a boo bucket, and my oldest, youngest daughter from my first relationship, her dad's unfortunately deceased, but her name is Samara, and she got some food, and I got some food, Josh got some, and Kingston did. Tara had a little bit of ice cream, because she's only seven months, and um, I'm not doing baby lead weaning yet, I'm still giving her mainly um, pur puree, you know, food which I intend on, like, eventually start giving her some more stuff. They were telling me I could give her yogurt, which I thought was a little odd if you're not supposed to get milk, but I guess you can. Um, we don't have any, like, milk allergies that I'm aware of. They were telling me at, like, our WIC appointment that you can give them peanut butter. I mean, I'm not going to lie to you. That was, I'm not sure how I feel about that, you know. I might try it, though, you know, like, because she's my fifth child. She's sitting right over here Kinda. I know my house is kind of don't make. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. <laughs> I haven't had a chance to mop. I'm really busy. So um, when you got two kids under three, it's a lot of work to keep everything going. And my house isn't like messy, messy, but it's messier than I would want it to be. But like I said, I've seen people on here, you know, kind of watching my shorts and stuff, and I'm getting more subscribers. And I think I should let it naturally kind of happen. You know, I post it on my Facebook about wanting more people to subscribe to me. And I'm hoping that a couple of my friends from there will. And I've I seen that some did, and I'm very grateful for that. But obviously, one of my goals is to get 500 subscribers because if I want to monetize, I need to have so many people kind of watching me. And um, somebody had made a comment on one video the other day about my teeth, called me a guy. I know I have a deep voice. I've been a smoker for years. I'm not a guy. I've had five children. I just showed you a video of my youngest child. Um, I've never given a kid under a year old peanut butter, but I might try it with her. Who knows? Like I said, we don't have any peanut allergies in my family or milk. But um, we had a really exciting day. And I just wanted to do, like like I said, a brief video. This is like not even 10 minutes long. The crumble cookie thing for me today was like really awesome because it was unplanned. We were just planning on going up there to eat and go to a pumpkin patch and a maze and Spirit Halloween and just look around and we ended up seeing Crumble Cookie up there. And like I said, it kind of made my day. Like, it really did because I love sweets, I'm not gonna lie. And I've been wanting to try it and it's like way up in Sylvania, the one near, because we're in like Bowling Green, Ohio. And so, I just, I, I'll travel a little bit. I'm not a huge traveler, I've wanted to travel more and I'm hoping that I can, but like, some of the areas up there, like the traffic is just nuts, you know? So, it was kind of cool. It's even nuts in Perrysburg, truthfully. It's really booming up there, honestly. Um, my kids have actually asked me, they're like, well, why don't we move there? I mean, maybe we will. I don't know. You know, if my YouTube takes off, I start making good money, you know, who knows, you know? Sky's the limit, you know? But I just wanted to do a brief video. I hope everybody's having a great day, blessed. And um, I enjoy anybody that's watching my shorts that thinks I'm cool or they just think I'm crazy or whatever the reason is. And hopefully I can, um, you know, make something of myself with this. So talk to you later.